Hi everyone, Masilla and Nikki here from Learn to Grow. Now, once in a while we do science experiments and we thought that this was a fascinating one that we did last week and wanted to share it with you guys. So it's going to be uh, extracting DNA from strawberries. So it's a really neat experiment and you'll see what um, we'll be doing here. So what you'll need are three strawberries, one quart size freezer Ziploc uh, bag. Yeah, and you can do whatever you want. Okay, and uh, one third cup of water. This is going to be your extract solution, or, or same as three ounces of water, mixed with one teaspoon salt and one tablespoon dishwashing liquid. And make sure you have some measuring spoons. And a jar. And a coffee filter for filtering the strawberry uh, mixture, the liquid mixture that we'll be filtering through the jar here and some popsicle sticks. And Nikki's working on squishing the strawberries right now. See how it looks like? So we'll keep squishing it. So it'll take about two minutes. And I forgot to mention that you'll need some um, rubbing alcohol. So about half a cup of that that we'll use at the end. You wanna keep it cold. So I kept this in the freezer. It's been in there for about an hour. So it's pretty cold right now, so it should be okay. And when you're done squishing the strawberries, we're going to add three tablespoons of your extract solution into the bag, and then we're going to squish it again together. So let's do that, Nikki. And when it's still hard, then we have to squish it some more. Mm -hmm. So let's um, add our extract solution, and you can squish it again, okay? Okay, oh, bud. Like this. Okay, so three tablespoons, hold it open, please, of your extract solution here that we made out of soap, water, and salt. Oops. And the role of the soap into this solution is it helps break down grease, like fat, right? And the cell walls of many organisms, um, including the strawberries, mm. plants and animals, are made of phospholipid, which is fat. So, so. Uh, that would help with breaking down the cell walls. And also the ripe strawberries will also develop enzymes that will help break it down as well. Now, the salt will help create uh, clumps of the DNA in help them uh, collect together. So that's what the role of the salt is. So now we're going to squish this together. Mm -hmm. right, so okay, our extract mixture and, and strawberries are squished together and it's pretty much like a smoothie texture liquefied. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of folding my filter into fours, I went ahead and just, um, I'm just gonna, I picked another jar with a wider mouth and I'm just going to insert it, insert it here like a funnel, that way it'll drain better. So let's try that. Huh? Yep. So we're yeah. gonna pour our mixture. Nikki, can you pour? So you'll have to squeeze this, the rest of the um, strawberry liquid out of your filter gently. And you can use ethanol too. So, and you're gonna pour it on the side of your jar, slowly. I'm just gonna eyeball it. You probably won't use the whole half a cup is the measurement that you'll be needing. And this will help with um, separating the DNA from the strawberry liquid mixture, help precipitate the DNA. So I'm going to grab the camera and give you a closer look here. It's pretty amazing. As you can see, see all that white gooey stuff collecting? on top. It's kind of a cloudy substance. So that's the DNA, um, the globs of it that we, can, we extracted from the three strawberries. So remember, strawberries have eight sets of um, genomes or chromosomes per cell. So that's um, four times more than human DNA um, or chromosomes. Um, and other organisms. And not all strawberries have the eight sets. The, this particular one, the Fragoria species, have them, but some of the strawberries are diploid sets like humans. But anyways, see that? So if you can see this, there's the uh, glob of the DNA we extracted from the three strawberries. And you can take a popsicle stick or a skewer stick or chopsticks, wooden chopsticks, to spool them out. See this blob there, if you can see that. 
So the chromosomes of the strawberries are easily um, seen because, remember, they have eight sets of chromosomes where um, other organisms such as humans and other plants and animal, animals only have diploid sets, which is just two chromosomes per set. Here's the glob or blob of the DNA we extracted and it is in alcohol. You can preserve this and keep it for a long time. I'm not sure how, how long, maybe for a few months or a year. So that was a really neat experiment and I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.